What up, friends? Como esta, Maca y Vegan? It's A and Mike. What's good, everybody? We are in Brooklyn today in Gravesend and we're heading over to Ellen B's Pomoni. Mike's never been there before. Like, I've been there a lot of times. You've been there before? Hell yeah. I should just go places without me. <laughs> no. Oh my god. This is before I met him. This was in high school. Oh, yeah, cut this video out. <laughs> They just got them cooking non stop. Well, hold that. He's the first time, right? Uh, is it, is it, what would <laughs> you say? You went, you went well with this. Right? Yeah. It's so interesting because I haven't been here in so long and it's so nice because I'm just reminiscing. And this pie still looks just as good as when I was 13 years old, man. My favorite part was always the corners because I love the crust. Look at that. That is so perfect. Now, don't be fooled, the cheese is underneath that sauce. All right, cheers, guys. The ratio of the crust, it's nice and crispy right there. The dough is nice and perfect, but that sauce, that sauce is killer, man. Anna's a Brooklyn native, so she kind of know the deal about this place. Never heard about it till today. They're known for their pizza and for the Sicilians. Bomoni has been around for a very long time. This is based on what Ace was telling me on our drive up here. Almost 80 years, so I assume they're doing something correct if they've been here that long. Pretty common with uh, any Sicilian pizza. Very thick, a little thinner than the usual that you get out of New York City. So let's give it a shot. Come on, Tommy is good. Mm, yeah, she's like being biased. It's definitely good. It's very sauce heavy. Probably pride themselves on the sauce itself that they make for the pizzas. The cheese is a little bit lighter. It feels very fresh. I'm sure other New Yorkers will tell you there's other places that make better pizza. The energy has always been so good here because there's always a lot of people that come here. There's a lot of people that double park, so be prepared for that because people will just come in here, get their pie, and go. It literally took us, what, three minutes, four minutes to get yeah, the pie? three to four minutes. They constantly make it, so it's always going to be ready for you. I do recall us always getting a whole pie. That was pretty standard. We never just got slices. This business has been uh, owned by four generations, family owned. I'm sure things would have been very different here 70 years ago. Mm -hmm. Wink, wink. <laughs> so. Let's see if this still tastes just as good as I remember, because it sure looks like it. <laughs> see right there? That's the vanilla, chocolate, and pistachio. If you look into this, you can see little pistachio pieces. That's what's so excellent about this. See the pistachio pieces? That combination of this trio here, it's freaking awesome, man. It's melting, I gotta eat, guys. I'm gonna have to cut this short. I'm not gonna talk much because I like to eat this slow. That's one thing you can count on today with this. This is something I know and used to through like junior high school and high school, not having a lot of money, you would buy these little smaller cups of this, this uh, coconut for like a dollar, dollar fifty. You have little chunks of coconuts in it, frozen, perfect for the summer, perfect for spring. And it actually got me a large, which I didn't ask, which I'm glad she did because these are delicious. Coconut all the way for me, this is really good. So Mike wasn't sure what Spumoni is, and Spumoni is gelato. Gelato is an Italian ice cream. I did try a gelato. It's my first time. It's really not my cup of tea, really, but I don't know if it's because of the mix she got. I'm gonna stick to my gelato, just like how it's been so yummy since back in the days. They never change anything about it, and that's what's beautiful about it. I'm biased. I'm not even gonna review this place as much because I'm gonna just tell you raving reviews about it. I'll do, I'll do the final thought for you guys because I'll be <laughs> fair about it, and hopefully I'll. I'll do some justice in, in A's shoes, of course. Just get your ass over here. <laughs> so good. She's super excited. Ah. She's super excited. Ah. 
I'm gonna let that calm down just a little bit so I can give you guys my comprehensive review of the place <laughs> and my thoughts and opinion here. I love that. It's a very family friendly place. As for the pizza, let's dive into that a little bit. The pizza's good. I like my pizzas to be cheesy and if you're going Sicilian, there should be a nice amount of cheese because the bread is a little bit thicker. If I'm incorrect, hit me up in the comment section down below. Let me know, but there should be a better balance between the cheese and the sauce. Now, aside from that, this was very good. Comment down below, let me know if you would buy a box of those for $28 or $27. 24. Oh, 24, I apologize, $24. Hmm, maybe. So that's just my thought. Oh my God, she's going in on me right now. But I've had other Sicilian that's pretty, you know, on point. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it that thumbs up. Thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Down below. And let me know if you've ever been to Spumoni Gardens before. Ah, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, Salama. Bye, you. guys. I have to say this one last thing, guys, that's making this video really cool for me. The excitement that A is experiencing <laughs> and the nostalgia. It's cool. I'm so glad I came. Just the fact that she's so excited and happy just being back here from like when she was a kid. At this point, Aww. it doesn't even matter if the food was good or not. And Thank I thought you. that was kind of cool. I felt like it was definitely a win coming here Yay. just for that alone. Thank you, sweetheart.